Hey developers, today we're going to look at 10 amazing resources to learn CSS. These are a combination of some games that I found and then some other information that is really interesting. So check it out, make sure you watch all the way to the end. If you don't know, my name's Eric, I'm a software developer, I've been a software developer for over 10 years. And also, if you guys are looking for more information about web development, I put some of my favorite courses, they're linked below, check them out. They're awesome and also has a couple of courses that I've created. So if you guys want to learn web development from me, I'd love that. And I also get a few bucks if you buy those. So uh, I was going to start here. This is a website called flukeout.github.io. And also I'll put a link below where you can get a list of all these websites, by the way. So this, is, this has been out for a while. You guys may have heard this. So this is a website to help you with CSS selectors. So you can see here on the right hand side, I'm actually, I'll start it over again. Uh, actually, I'll go back to one. And so what's asking you is to put in a selector and then it'll go on to the next lesson and then there's 32 lessons. And this gets a little bit more complicated when you get farther in, so it becomes a little difficult. So it's like select the plates, select elements by the type. So I can type in, I don't know, plate. And then it goes into the next lesson, select elements by their type. You can put in div, or you can put in, uh, in this case, bento. So it's just a way to learn your CSS selectors. It's a great way of doing it. Uh, it's a fun site, I would check it out. So this is one way to get started. Obviously you're not gonna learn advanced CSS topics, but sometimes learning how to select the right thing is obviously extremely important. The next one, I want to talk about there's actually there are two highly related ones one's called flexbox froggy and the other one's called grid garden so we'll start with flexbox froggy and it's made by the guys who created codepip um, and i believe it's uh on github and twitter um they're on github and twitter that is too so flexbox froggy a game where you can help and this is by the way these are 100 percent free you don't have to pay for them it's a game where you help Froggy and his friends by writing CSS code. Guide the frog to the lily pad on the right by using the justify content property, which aligns the items horizontally and accepts the following values. So it's kind of cool. You can kind of play around with flex and, and figure out what to do. For example, you can do justify content flex end. You can see it moved the froggy over to the lily pad here. So you can kind of get an idea of how it works. And obviously this is 24 levels, so it gets progressively harder. So this might be a great way to learn uh, to learn flex, just to kind of go through all these exercises, move the fro froggy around, you'll get a great idea of what to do. And obviously it gets much harder. So I kind of like this. Uh, between flex and grid, I still like flex better. Uh, you guys can tell me below what you guys like better. Are you guys more flex fans, grid fans? Let me know. Grid garden. It's the same idea, but it's with grids. Welcome to Grid Garden, where you write CS code to grow your carrot garden, where water only the areas that have carrots using the grid column start property. For example, grid column start three will water the area starting at the third vertical grid line, which is another way of saying third vertical border from the left in the grid. So you can see here, like you have this matrix here, this uh, five by five matrix, and then you're trying to get the water to the carrots. So you could do grid. So you type in here in the box, grid, column, start, three. You see now I've watered it. Oh great, and obviously it starts off really easy. Hit next, and now it tells you, uh oh, it looks like weeds are growing in the corner garden. Use grid column start to poison them. Note that the weeds start at the fifth grid line. So then you can, you know, kind of keep going with this. Uh, let's see here, grid, column, start, Five, oops, uh, five. There we go. We got it. Next. So then it gets harder and harder. So you can see here, it's kind of a little bit fun uh, to just to, to play around with. Okay, this next game is Flexbox Defense. So in here, you can. Uh, it tells you your your job is to stop the incoming enemies from getting past your defenses. Unlike other events to to our defense games, you must position your tiles using CSS. We'll start with this container properties. The Flexbox container has a main axis and a cross axis. And then it kind of talks about what justify content is and what flex start and flex end and center. 
So it's kind of cool. So I can do justify content. So these are like my guns on the screen right here, these two. And the troops are going to come down this road here. So I want to position these close enough for them to be shot. So obviously I probably want it more near the center. But you can see here, I can kind of play around with that. I can do flex end. And then I click away. You see that's probably not where I want the guns. I can do like space between. And you can see that's probably not right. But if I do center, it goes right in the middle. And then when I start the wave, you can see here's our bad guys coming in and my guns are gonna shoot them. Alright, so you can see here, I beat it, I got 100 points, and I go to next wave, and then it talks about the next thing you need to do. So now I can have three different tower groups, and I can put those different places. Maybe I want the one at the end, the one in the middle, and one at the start. So, so I could do like display, justify, content. This is probably flex end. And then this is justify, content. Uh, I'll put it in the center and the last one is probably justify content I'll put it at the end uh, flex end again and then I can hit the start wave and you can see once again now our guns are positioned in the right place and that they're gonna be shot so that's exactly what we want cool so we got another hundred percent there so you can see that's kind of a fun game you can definitely gets more complicated as you go farther along. So CSS Learn Layout is another site. This is not much of a game, but it kind of tells you um, how CSS Layout goes. So you can see here at the beginning, the display property has a lot of great information on it. And then it kind of gives you information margin auto. And it just kind of tells you a lot of great information about the box model, things like that. Fun and games to CSS is a way you can learn it. Every single page has a different kind of CSS property that you learn about. And it tells you a lot about it and history. So it's pretty neat. And you kind of go through it and learn about it in kind of a nice graphical way. Unfolding the box is another similar one. It tells you about the box model, transformations, rotate, which is really neat. I enjoy CSS. Uh, once again, it's not a game, but you can choose your input and then style it. So if you want this input here, it goes into this editor, which you can then uh, add transformations on. You can put borders and radiuses. You can add box shadows. And then once you're done, you want the code, you just click the little button, get CSS code, and it generates it for you. And then you can copy and paste it to your clipboard. So if you're not sure how to do some of the more complicated transitions, box shadows, graphics, you can use a website like this. There's a lot of ones like this. If you guys knows, know of some better ones, please leave a comment below. Flex Explorer, this is a nice site. It kind of just tells you how Flex works with different amount of items. You can get, get, kind of get an idea how your website would look like once you start changing, re reversing directions, how wrapping works, justify content. So this is kind of neat. So you can kind of get an idea of how this all works. And then the last site I want to show you guys is SAS Meister. And this is just a place you can put in your SAS. Uh, you can put different versions of SAS, SCSS, uh, put it different extensions, and you can even save it. So you can kind of get an idea of, of what it'd look like, you know, based on your CSS, HTML, and then it'll renders right in the screen. So those are my 10 different CSS help sites for you guys. I wanna hear you guys, what do you guys use? How did you learn CSS? I mean, obviously some of these, if you don't have any idea of how to use CSS and they might be hard. Me, I'm one of those guys that I am okay at CSS. I don't think I'm an expert at by any means. I mean, I know the basics of padding and margins and, and selectors and things like that. But when it gets to more complicated animations and transitions and and some of the more nuanced stuff in CSS, I think I'm just okay at it. So I think these sites are pretty fun to play around with to, to try to bring up my skills. So I wanna hear from you guys. What do you guys think? What are some sites that you guys like? And also, uh, if you like these videos, please click that subscribe button, click that like button and share it with your friend if these are sites that would be useful to them. Thanks.